Good morning, Quiet Copter 101 here. And before we get started, let me get my shout outs out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Ray Stout. Congratulations, Ray Stout. He was the first to say first to one of my videos, so he gets his shout out today. What do I got for you here today? This is an interesting racer, as you can see here, FPV racer. This is the latest version of the Wizard, Ishin Wizard. This is the TS215 Ishin Wizard. A very interesting looking quadcopter. Let's start from the top to the bottom here. We start off, we got a 1200 TV line camera, you know, a very high resolution TV line camera. Uh, at the very top here, this comes available in plug and play and bind and fly. I got the bind and fly version with the Free Sky transmitter. It's their uh, D16 uh, XM Plus transmitter here. One thing about this <laughs> particular transmitter, or I'm sorry, receiver that's installed by Ishin, the way they install it, the bind plug or the bind switch is right here underneath the plate here. So the, to bind this thing, I had to actually cut off um, this uh, zip tie here to gain access to the bind switch here, to bind it and then re-zip tie it. So keep that in mind, folks. I don't know why they installed it that way, but they did. Okay, going down a, butt, a little lower here, what we also have here is a our um, FPV transmitter. This is actually a very nice FPV transmitter, 72 channel, folks, uh, with power bands of 25, selectable powers of 25, 200, 500, and believe it or not, 800 milliwatts <laughs> transmission power that you can select uh, via, uh, where is that? But, oh, hold on, I will we'll find it, my eyes are, there it is, that button there. You know, quick press of this quick button, you know, you switch between the different fre frequencies. Uh, two second press, you switch between the different bands, and uh, three to five seconds, you switch between the different power levels. I got mine set up today, I believe, at, I think, a legal power level. I'm not going to say what it is, but keep in mind, some of these, uh, the uh, FCC might have issue with some of these transmitters, FPV transmitters, but uh, this one is pretty uh, capable. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Additionally, what this comes with is below the FPV transmitter is a, where is that at? Right here, digital video recorder. Notice I got a little micro SD card inserted into this digital video recorder. Uh, so you can actually record your FPV video. Um, it is controlled. There's this little scroll wheel here. Uh, you can push in, this, or actually scroll it clockwise. Let's make sure that's, I guess I that would be counterclockwise looking down to start and stop the video recording. Uh, and also it has menus that, you, actually I recommend you access those menus because this is uh, set to VGA resolution out of the box. Uh, you wanna press in on the scroll wheel and that'll bring up the menus and then you can go in there and select, uh, you wanna select it to HD, you know, get it out of that VGA. That's gonna look terrible <laughs> for your recordings. Now keep in mind it also, being a DVR recorder, this is probably gonna in introduce some lag into the video. We'll see how bad that here is in the flight here. But, uh, you know, for those wishing to have a uh, digital video recorder, this hat one has built one built in, and if your goggles don't have it. Okay, and also going with the camera system, what we notice, we also, it, this also comes with a Team Ishin Sheep FPV antenna, circular polarized antenna. I'm not going to say anything more on that either, folks. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, and going down the next row below here, we got our flight control board. The flight control board is inter integrated with the power distribution board, which is also interesting. Um, it also has a little micro SD card slot for back black box information. And then going out, oh, I didn't mention uh, the flight control board is a, uh, what is it? It is this <laughs> F4 flight control board loaded up with Betaflight 3.2. Point zero. Now this flight control board is what limits the amount of power you, you know, all these, you know, like these ESCs here can go up to six S ESCs, but the flight control board can only go up to uh, uh, five S voltage. So this uh, particular quadcopter is limited at five S for batteries. Um, today I'm gonna actually be flying with a four S today, but you know, you can go up to five S to fly this particular quadcopter. Now the um, ESCs are BL Heli, uh, 32, 40 amp ESCs, providing lots of power to your motors, which are TS-2306-2450 KV motors. So, 
And finally, the arms on this thing are very, very thick. So they should be quite a bit impact resistance to flying. So what are we gonna do today? Again, I got my 4S battery here, 15, I believe it's 1500 milliamp per hour uh, 4S battery. Uh, I'm gonna start off in uh, line of sight flying and then we'll switch into acro and go into uh, uh, FPV flying. So I hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, let's start off with a little bit of line of sight flying. I'm gonna start off in angle mode here and arming the motors and take them to the air. Wow. Right away I can tell you this thing is punchy. <laughs> Holy moly. Let's bring that back down and do that one more time. Lots and lots of punch, folks. Even with a, a 4S battery. Man, 5S is probably awesome. Okay, so yes, this thing has the punch. <laughs> Mega punch. So we're going to bring it in and we'll go right into... Um, yeah, let's bring it in. show it to you first real quick. It's pretty cool looking. <laughs> Very awesome. I'm hearing a little bit of flutter there. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, reasonable. A little bit of flutter though. Coming down here. Okay, but let's land it and then we'll go into uh, acro flying. So, hope you enjoy the rest of this, the second part of this flight. Okay, let's start off in acro, and then I'll probably switch to air mode, too. Um, let's see. I got a little bit of a wind today, so we, I don't know how much an issue that's going to be. But let's go for flight this thing and see how it performs. Okay, uh, selecting uh, acro and arming. And let's take to the air. Whoa, right away I do notice it's not lag, but I'm seeing like frame drops, probably from the DVR. Doesn't seem to be lag, but uh, just dragging it out here. Yeah, it's like frame drops. Again, that's probably straight from the DVR. This was including the DVR on this. Oh, by the way, I haven't started the recording of that, so let's bring that in and start the recording so you can folks can see the DVR. Notice that it's not recording. Let me bring it back. We're going to land it. Where's that wind coming from? And then we'll go start up the DVR again. Hold on, folks. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Now I got that thing recording. It is blinking on the bottom, so it is recording. Uh, let me go into... Hey, Actually, let me go to air mode, arm it. Let's take to the air. Okay, we're gonna try air mode now. Okay. Just feeling it, oh, it feels good. But try to bring it now, again, I got this thing set up. Let me go back to acro. Look how far out I am here. This thing has range. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure about the legality of that, the transmitter on this thing, but it is powerful. <laughs> so, you know, this is the wizard, latest incantation of the wizard. Try to get some speed on this thing. Just taking it out fast. I am high though. Let me try to bring it down low so you can see this. We'll go down the road here a bit and then come up the road. Come down lower. <laughs> it's 
pretty neat quadcopter, folks. I don't want it. I'm in the sun, huh? Sorry about that. What is that over here? I'm going coming up the road again. This is a fast machine. Keeps its motor clean. <laughs> and it climbs like a rocket. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go out of here and open it up some. Why not on the desert? I'm losing a little bit of transmission there. Coming around, coming around, coming around. So, yeah, the biggest issue on this right now, I can tell you, is the DVR. It's, it makes me a little flat, fly us a little bit wonky. Because you are, it's, it's just, uncomfortable to fly it with that DVR like that. I really, really can't do much right now, but, uh, but it is. In fact, you got to go up high. Whoa. See what I mean? I'm not going to do that anymore because there, there is noticeable lag. I'm not sure if it's just uh, frame dropping. I think it is actually lag because it's, it's not performing. Um, properly there it kind of scares me actually uh because of the delayed response so yeah I, i've seen some people that uh they've modified this to remove the uh dvr from the equation here if you're gonna fly with the dvr you're gonna have to fly like i'm flying right now you know which is kind of mellow <laughs> yeah. but uh you got to take it easy folks with this dvr attached wow it goes up there up there fast so we're gonna call it quits here I'm going to bring it in for a landing. Going into the wind. The wind's over here. Disarming. So that is the TS-215. Okay, let me unbuckle it, give you my final thoughts. Yes, this is a good flyer, but that DVR is an issue. <laughs> Um, they might want to consider removing the DVR. You know, most folks that really want to record their FPV video already have goggles or go have modified goggles with built-in DVRs, so keep that in mind, folks. Uh, all in all, it's pretty awesome except for the DVR. So I hope you enjoyed this flight, this Quadcopter 101, signing out. <laughs>